So I got the Doodlebug mini bike up to 59 miles per hour with the setup that's on it right now. It did 59 miles per hour with the Tillson 212. But the thing is, the bike is still using the same tires that came on it, I think like 10 years ago. So I figure if I'm gonna be doing 60 miles an hour on this bike, it might be a good idea to go ahead and change out the tires, maybe. So I went ahead and picked up the street tires. So these things are pretty sweet. They are directional and tubeless. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on there and I'll do a speed run after I slap these on there to see if they make a difference in uh, top speed. But if they don't, at least the bike will be a little bit safer, maybe. Let me go ahead and loosen up this engine, pop this chain off. Move this engine back. Pop this chain off. Alrighty, go ahead and pull these cotter key out or cotter pin. Loosen up this axle. Put these spacers out of here. we go. Go ahead and pull the sprocket off of here and the brake. All right. Go ahead and pull this off. Ready. There's that. Go ahead and pop the brake off. So there's that. Break this off. Alrighty. Let's pop this tire off, old school style. Look at that thing. That thing just popped right off. Well, that was easy. Now we'll see if we can get it off there. Look at that. That thing just popped right off again on the other side. Man, makes you wonder going 60 miles an hour. I wonder if it popped right off the bead. Now let me see if I can get the tire off as easy as it popped off the rim. Just do a little bit at a time. You can feel these tires, they feel pretty brittle or stiff. All right, like that. That thing popped right out. Sweet. Yeah, this tire feels pretty brittle. You know, seems how it's like 10 years old. I mean, it's still round, so it's okay for another 60 mile per hour blast. Alrighty, so I just put a valve stem in here not too long ago, so I don't need to change that right now. So this tire is directional. So I gotta make sure that it's facing the right way. Here we go. It's got the little arrow on it. 
to put the rim on there the right way. So the sprocket side on this side. Ready? Go ahead and twist this thing in here. All right, there's that. Almost, almost got it. There we go. All right. So let me go ahead and pop her back on on this side. All right. So usually on this part, because when I start working the tire onto the bead on this side, this side keeps slipping off. So I usually just throw a pair of vice grips on here, on this side, and that way it doesn't slip off. When I work my way around, so that way when I work my way around, it doesn't keep slipping off this side. See, because right here it'll try to slip off. Right over here it'll try to slip off. Then I just go a little bit at a time, work my way around. And there's... Alrighty, and there's that. See the vice grips, totally save it. Because otherwise you'd be fighting that stupid thing all day. So anyway, now I'm gonna go ahead and try to air this up. And if I can't air it up, if it doesn't seat on the bead, I might have to use the uh, strap. We'll see. The valve core back in here. Go ahead and throw the valve cap back on here. Alrighty, so let me go ahead and throw the brake disc back on here. the brake disc it really looks sweet go and throw the sprocket on now all righty so there we go the street tire man it looks nice on there So anyway, let me pop this thing back on this bike. All right, go ahead and get the spacer put in here, hopefully. All right, I know this thing used to fit. Get the spacer back in here. Like that. All right, go ahead and put the nut back on here. Throw the cotter pin in here. So it looks pretty good on there. Alrighty. Put that chain back on here. Go ahead and tighten up this tensioner a little bit. Let me get the change to suspect tire. 
So there's the rear. Looks pretty sweet on there. All right, let me do the front now. Pull this tire off here. All right, all right. Pull the valve core out, makes it a lot easier. All right, let me see if this one popped off the rim like the uh, other one did. Man, it looks like it already did. Yep, look at that. It just pops right off, man. Those things are like really brittle. I'm not sure if that's that good for 60 miles an hour. You know, driving them with a tire that brittle. All right, there's that. Let's do it a little bit at a time. All right. All right, so there's that. Let me see if I can get this side off now. Work my way around a little at a time. All right. So there's that. And this tire is a lot more brittle than the back one, it seems like. I mean, they still had another, what, 10 years left in them? I mean, they're still round. Ready. So now, so the valve stem goes on the uh, right side, so that means the rotation's gotta be this way. All right, so we're gonna pop this on here. Alrighty, so now, go ahead and use my old vice grip trick to work my way around. And I can't slip off on that side. Got the direction correct, which is that way, right on. So anyway, so now, go ahead and put the valve core back in. Hopefully it seals, we'll see. There we go. All right. So there's that. Drop the other space around on this side. All right, I go ahead and put a cotter pin in here. All righty, so there we go. They look nice on there. Now go take it out for a speed run and see how smooth it is. Alrighty, I've well, got the street tires on there. They look pretty sweet. I'm gonna go out there and test them out for a top speed run.
we'll see how it did. All right, it's 59 miles per hour, the same speed as the other tires. But at least it's safer. So the bike did 59 miles per hour with the street tires. But at least I felt a little bit safer doing it. And they look nice. <laughs>